This is how you can make a notes command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can go ahead and get a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. If you're interested in any of this, it will be in the description below. And let's go ahead and get into the code. So we're going to start off by going over to schemas, and we're just going to go ahead and create our note schema.js. Within this, we're going to go ahead and get our note. We're going to get a guild string, a user string, a note string, and a moderator string. So just go ahead and pause the video and copy all of this down. After you have that, we're going to go over to moderation, and we're going to go ahead and create note.js. We're going to go ahead and start off by getting our slash command builder and our embed builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Then we're going to do const note s equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our note schema just like this. So we're going to do that. Then we can go ahead and do module.exports, and to start, we're going to go ahead and set mod to true. I have a video on that. It will be in the description below as well. Then we can go ahead and do data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and start off by setting a name. This is going to be notes, and we're going to go ahead and set a description. This doesn't matter, so we can just do note as well. Then we can go ahead and get three subcommands. The first is going to be set with a description of set a note for a user. The user option is going to be the name of user, the description of the user to add a note to, and we're going to set required to true. Then we're going to add a string option with the name of note, a description of the note to add, and we're going to set required to true as well. Then we're going to go ahead and create our next subcommand, which is going to be remove. We can have a description of remove a note from a user. We're going to have a user option of user, a user option description of the user to remove the note from. We're going to go and set required to true. Then we're going to have a string option option with the option name as note, the description as the note to remove, and you can add this extra text if you would like, and we're going to go ahead and set required to true. The final subcommand is going to be check with the description of check the notes of a user. We're going to get a user option with the name of user and the description of the user to check the notes of, and we're going to set required to true. So following all three of those subcommands, we're going to go ahead and do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction, and we're just going to go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to get our options, and we can go ahead and set that equal to to our interaction. We can also get our subcommand and we can do options.get subcommand. So we're going to get our subcommand. Next, we're going to do const user equals and we can do options.get user. And that's going to be our user. Next, we can go ahead and write out our send message function. So we're going to do async function send message. We're going to go ahead and get our message. We can open this up. I'm going to get our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color and I'm just going to go ahead and make this blurple. We're going to go ahead and set a description and I'm just going to go ahead and put in our message parameter and then after we do that we can go ahead and send that embed so we can do interaction or reply I'm going to get my embeds, I'm going to get our embed, and I'm also going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message. So after we do that, we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command, and I'm going to get our sub. And then this, we're going to get our case, which is going to be set. So the case is going to be var note equals options that get string, and that is going to be our note string. And now that we have our note string, we can just go ahead and do a wait note s to create. So we're going to go ahead and create our schema with our guilt, and that is going to be our interaction.guild.id with our user, which is going to be our user.id with our notes, which is going to be our notes, and our moderator, which is going to be our interaction.user.id. So we've gone ahead and created our schema with our information that we can access later. So now all we have to do is do a wait send a message, and I'm just going to go ahead and get a globe emoji. This is really, really simple. All we have to do is say your note has been saved. Uh, you can make that complicated if you'd like to, but I'm pretty much just keeping it as simple as possible because the system does not really need to be that complicated. Then we're going to come down here because we're done with that subcommand and we can go ahead and break. We're going to go ahead and get case, which is going to be remove. So we have to get a couple of variables. The first is going to be var note equals options that get a string. And we're going to go ahead and get our note string just like above. We can do var del equals await note s that delete one. That is going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction.user.id, our user, which is going to be our user.id, and our notes, which is going to be our notes. So now that we have our note data deleted, or if it isn't deleted, it's going to be saved into a variable. Then we're going to say if and del, and then we can do dot deleted count. So we're going to get that object, and then we're going to say equals, and we can do zero. Then we can actually go ahead and open this up. We're going to do await send message, and I'm just going to go ahead and get our caution emoji. Within this, I'm just going to go ahead and say there is no note found matching, and we can go ahead and get our note. So that's the note variable that the user put in. 
And if that's not the case, that means the schema was successfully deleted. So all we have to do is send a message here. And within this, I'm going to go ahead and get the globe emoji. And we can just go ahead and say the notes. We can do backslash tick. We're going to get our notes. And we can go ahead and say has been removed from. And I'm going to go ahead and get our user. So we're done with that subcommand. All we have left is to break and get our case. This time we're going to do check. So now we're just checking the notes of the user that uh, have been set or removed. So to do that, we're going to do var data equals await note s that find. And we're going to go ahead and get our guilds. And we can actually go ahead and get our interaction dot guild that ID. Then we're going to go ahead and do var notes and we can do equals and we're going to do an empty string. We can also do await and we can do data dot for each. So this we're going to go ahead and do your logic. So we're going to get our value and we can actually go ahead and open this up. So within this, we're going to go ahead and run a simple check. First, we're going to say if value dot user equals and we can do user dot ID and I'm going to add this in for good measure. We can do value dot guild equals our interaction dot guild dot ID just in case. Then we can go ahead and do var moderator and we can go ahead and say equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch. So we're just going to go and get our value dot moderator. And the reason we're doing that is because we actually need the moderator user object in order to properly mention them within the embed. So then we're going to do notes and we can do plus equals and I'm going to go ahead and get a string. I'm going to do an arrow. This is a little bit of formatting here. So we can just go ahead and bold notes and I'm going to go ahead and bold that off again. We can do backslash tick. I'm going to go ahead and get our value dot notes and then we can go ahead and do backslash tick and we're going to do backslash n and then we can do another arrow. Then we're going to go ahead and do moderator and we can finish that building off and I'm going to go ahead and get our moderator variable and we can do backslash n twice and we can just finish that string off just like that. So now that we're done with that, we have all of our formatted data. We can just do a wait send message and we're going to go ahead and get our globe emoji and we're just going to format this a little bit more so we can do user and we can do dot username and then we can do an s and I'm going to finish that bolding. And we can go ahead and say moderator notes, just like this. And then we can do backslash n backslash n. We're going to get notes. And then we're just going to do or. And we can say no notes safe. So essentially, we're just formatting our embed. We're adding our notes. And if there's no data, that means obviously there's no notes saved. So we can just go ahead and edit that in. Keep it pretty simple and easy. So with that, we're actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can test this out. Let's go ahead and get our notes. So we have remove check and set first let's just go ahead and check me and as you can see it's going to say no note saved because obviously we haven't said anything yet so now let's go ahead and say a note we can do me let's go ahead and get a note so we can say this user broke our rule or something like that that's kind of the purpose of this whole system so that moderators can make quick notes about a user just in case or something like that then we can go ahead and run note check. I'm going to get that user. And as you can see, we have our data. So we have my moderator notes. We have my note, which is this user broke a rule. And we have the moderator, which was me, obviously. Now let's go ahead and add one more note to me. So we can just go ahead and do notes. And I'm going to go ahead and set. And we can go ahead and say the rule was broken again or something like that. So now let's go ahead and check it again. So let's get the user. And as you can see, now we have two separate notes. The first was the first one we set. The second was the second one we set. Both were set with the same moderator, so that's important to note. But if a different moderator ran this command, it would show their user at in there as well instead of me. All right, so let's just go ahead and try to remove a note. So let's just do this. We can go ahead and get me. And we can go ahead and say the rule was broken again. So we're going to get that same text. And as you can see, it's going to say the rule was broken again, has been removed from my notes. So we can go ahead and check it one more time. Let's go ahead and get me. And as you can see, now we only have one note here. The other one has been removed. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced moderator note system using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.